Welcome everybody. I am Count Dracula and this is a special Halloween episode of Showtime. <laughs> Welcome, I'm your host Matthew McCoy. And I'm Michael Pelosi. And we're delighted to have you join us for a very special episode of Showtime, the weekly variety show presented by the Boston College Marching Band. Tonight we're going to be exploring some classic and contemporary music from Dance from the Band, welcome an absolutely stellar guest, introduce you to some of our members, and of course take you in a behind the scenes look into our program. However, tonight is unlike any other. It's a time where the dead walks the earth. Sinister figures drain life from the innocent, and you feel you may not survive the night. Are you talking about midterms, Michael? No, Matt, I'm, t I'm talking about Halloween. Oh. Today's episode brings the spooks right to you, where all our usual segments are now packed with fears and frights on this Halloween night. Let's get right into our first segment. Our first segment today features our hauntingly talented high brass section, who decided that in the spirit of Halloween, they should go off the rails a little bit. That's right, Michael, and channeling their inner rock star, our trumpets and mellophones are going to take us on our local trolley, the Beeline, uh, also known affectionately to them as the Crazy Train. Let's take a look. <laughs> This kind of music is great for settling the mood on Halloween night. It makes me really want to snuggle up with my, uh, my ghoul friend on the couch and binge watch some horror movies. Matt, you don't have a ghoul friend. I've never seen her. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, but anyway, moving on. Uh, most of our special guests are prominent figures uh, from Boston's vibrant arts and culture scene, but uh, today's guest is from a little bit further away. Uh, actually, one might say a galaxy far, far away. Despite dropping out of the Jedi Academy after an incident with his instructor and running away from home, he earned a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity with the First Order. He got involved in political advocacy, overseeing multiple construction and demolition projects, and even helped the military hunt down dangerous resistant insurgents before giving himself a promotion and becoming one of the youngest leaders in the galaxy. In recent years, he has obliterated corrupt government practices in Hosnian Prime and even dabbled in patricide. Kylo Ren, welcome to the show. It's good to be with you. So, you're obviously very gifted. Your pedigree is incredible, it's impressive, and you're a master of the Force. What made you turn away from the light and towards the dark side? Better pay. Uh, 
so your your primary motivation was uh was money it's all about the benjamins and by benjamins i mean ben and by ben i mean ben solo that's my real name so yes all right so kylo you're so well known for having one of the most committed and fearless members of your organization your energy and engagement are what has driven the first order to new heights what is your secret for being such an effective leader demand only perfection accept nothing less and if they don't measure up well they know what comes with failure who would you say has been your biggest inspiration my grandfather i have always dreamed of finishing what he started oh so your um lineage it's a little bit of a imperial nostalgia yeah i've spent some time researching the empire of old its army the emperor its anthem their anthem do you mean uh, glory of the empire or the imperial march as we know it yes music has always been a source of motivation for me especially when i was betrayed by the jedi and tricked by their lies it was a low point in my life and it served as a creative outlet for me in in those times creative creative outlet uh so you're saying you are yourself a musician i was implying nothing of the sort but but you do value music right don't you play an instrument um i well i i play the trombone really really wow well you know i'm also um a trombonist myself uh how long have you been playing i just kind of dabble you see i'm self-taught kylo could could we hear something maybe you want to want to give us a little taste yeah yeah i don't really perform in front of people i mean i know what i have to do but i don't know if i have the strength to do it you're going to play with your mask i'll remove it first <gasps> were you expecting someone else no uh not not at all uh kylo it's just well uh you uh you look a, a little bit different than the uh than the movies this is what i look like without lighting and makeup oh yeah i mean it's you, you look great i mean even better than in the movies thank you and now i will play for you this is one of my favorites <laughs> Wow, that was uh, that was actually pretty good for a for a self-taught trombonist. Pretty good. That was perfection. Uh, Matt, Matt, I think I think it was great. I thought it was perfect. Sorry about that. Force a habit, I guess. I'm trying to get better at that for moral reasons. You know, it's just a process. Yeah, uh, I think that's all that all the time we have have for today. Um, uh, a actually, I think Matt, we no, have no, one no, more. That, no, that's it. That's it for questions. Uh, definitely. Uh, thank you, uh, Mr. Ren, sir, for being here. Thank you for having me and listening to me play my anthem. It was a real treat. Um, well, I think I certainly speak for us both when I say it was such a treat for us too. Well, that was just an absolutely breathtaking interview. Calm down, Matt. It's not like he forced lightning to you. He just forced choke to you. Besides, I haven't even gotten my trombone yet. I don't know. I don't know how you can, you know, defend his behavior. It's like, but like, you know what? I just, I don't know if I can do this anymore, Michael. I don't, I don't know. That's just batty, Matt. 
I know just the way to get you back in. One of my classic jokes. Okay, let's let's hear it. What do you call two witches who live together? Actually, I don't actually know. Um, what? Brewmates. Oh, gosh. We're now going to be turning to our spooky section feature with our front ensemble and uh, behind the scenes look into uh, the work of our very own dance mix DJ, Eric Franklin. That's right, Matt. I hear this piece is particularly infectious. Let's take a look. Tell me this was going to be a scary zombie video. Sorry, I didn't know you'd be so so freaked out by a little Halloween-themed audio mixing. I don't, I don't know. No, no, Matt, it's not the audio mixing. You didn't tell me there was going to be scary stuff. Michael, it's Halloween. There's scary stuff everywhere. Okay, look, we're just going to have to embark on the BCMB's Horror Film Fest uh, with a disclosure. Uh, it's going to get real, people, okay? Uh, I, I think you're going to be okay, but... It's gonna get real. Yes, with that warning, I'll be okay. I'll be fine. That's good to hear. I'll just cover my eyes. Okay. And ears. Oh well. And maybe you could hold me tight. Uh. So okay. <laughs> well, hold on and to your hats, folks, because this is the BCMB Horror Film Fest. Oh 
my goodness, what's happening with her? Apparently, she doesn't want to cross train from clarinet to trombone. Hello? Is this where we learn pregame? Where are you? I, I, I heard we have to prance. You want to prance? Oh my god! Ah! What the? Rob, what are you? Tomorrow morning, I... Just never mind. Michael? Where, where'd you go, Michael? What? I'm here. I'm here. I'm okay. I'm here. Okay, I'm here. All right. I'm here. I'm okay. I'm here. Sorry, Matt, I just don't watch a lot of horror films. But nothing okay. gets me more than seeing some poor new marching band soul being tormented by the spirit of the BCMB. Be the spirit, dude. Matt, you all right there? You kind of didn't seem like yourself for a second. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, it's just every once in a while I just start feeling a little off. I don't know. It's, uh, it's it happened ever since I, I went to the band room last week. Um, have you been hearing anything strange about what's happening there? I, I no. don't know. Why? It's, it's probably nothing, but I yeah. um, <laughs> I felt felt like I was being watched, you know, as, you know, when I was practicing. Um, you were practicing? Well, you know, I doesn't happen that often, but yeah, you know, there's a, there's a pretty good reason why, you know. I love dressing up. It's literally the best part of Halloween. Um, no. Excuse me? Dude, there's literally so many better parts of Halloween. Oh yeah? Like what? Candy. The Halloween music. The existential dread of knowing you're going to be wearing the same ghost sheet as a costume for the 10th year in a row? Yeah, no. I'm talking about ghost stories. Oh. oh. I haven't heard a good ghost story in forever, like since middle school. Wait, so you haven't heard about the band room? The what now? Oh yeah, you haven't heard? The band room is totally haunted. I kind of thought everyone knew about that by now. Oh, yeah, um, a few of us missed the memo on that actually. So, what happened exactly? Are you sure you want to know? Of no course! Thanks. It was Halloween, 1937, on the Boston College campus. It was a dark and stormy night. The band room was completely empty, except for one brave soul. Brave soul? It was literally just rehearsing. Don't be so dramatic. I'm sorry, ghost story extraordinaire. Do you want to tell it since you know it so well? Why, yes. Actually, I do. He was just rehearsing when he heard a loud thunk coming from downstairs by the dance lockers, overcome by curiosity. Who's dramatic now? Overcome by curiosity, he crept downstairs to check it out. When he reached the bottom of the stairs, he saw that everything was perfectly in place, except one thing. 
The door to one of the dance team lockers was flung wide open, and inside was a singular Shaco. He knew it was a bad idea to mess with the Shaco, but he couldn't help it. It was like he was being called by a voice from another dimension, from the great beyond, and eventually, he just couldn't help it. He got closer and closer, inching nearer and nearer to sealing his fate. Finally, his temptation was just too great. He snatched the Shaco and put it on his head. The call stopped, and everything was still. Deciding that this was all extremely anticlimactic, he tried to take the Shaco off, but it wouldn't budge, no matter what he did. To get a better look, he closed the locker door to look into the mirror. When he did, he became transfixed by the image and started walking into the mirror. You mean towards the mirror? No, into the mirror. It said at that moment, he entered the mirror dimension. Come on, that's ridiculous. That's how he became the phantom of the band room. People say he's still there to this day. They say he moves stuff in the night when no one's there. That's why sometimes in the morning, people's instruments are just missing. Come on, that's just a ridiculous excuse. And? They say he walks among us. He walks? Oh, stop, you're freaking me out. And they say every year on Halloween, he sits in the mirror, just waiting to take someone into the mirror dimension. Guys, I have a brilliant idea. We should totally go into the band room on Halloween night. That's a horrible idea. Totally should. I can bring my camera and we can vlog the whole thing. But we'll finally know the truth. We'll have proof that he's real, that he's fake. Whatever, who's in? Me. Me. Fine. Hey, where's Ryan? Uh, he must have chickened it out. I think I see something. Come on, so check it out. Oh my god, is that... is that Ryan? Come on, we have to help him! <laughs> Since when were you the phantom of the band room? Oh, since like 1937. <laughs> so why do you keep trying to bring people into the mirror dimension? I don't know, I just... I finally thought I could have some true friends. You already have true friends. Oh, guys! <laughs> Man, uh, Matt, that was, um... Some pretty scary stuff. Yeah, you... You, you totally freaked out on that when he couldn't get that Shaco off. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, but I saw you crying when they walked into the mirror dimension. No, no, I, I did not. Uh, I did too. Well, you know, I got some bad news for you, Michael, because there's another zombie section coming. Ooh. <laughs> uh, I, I, I can handle it. What, what, that's, that's like whatever. Um, but unfortunately, I was actually just about to head to the bathroom, so I'm just gonna wait, wait, see you later. Bye. Wait, no, no, Michael, Michael, don't, don't leave. Uh, uh. Michael, I uh, yeah, Matt. I, I kind of forgot there was a mirror in the bathroom. Yeah, uh, me too. You know, I, I think that's that's probably enough uh, Halloween scares for this year at least. Um, don't you think? Uh, I, yeah, I I could not uh, agree more. Um, well, so I guess that's all for our Halloween edition of Showtime. 
As always, thank you to all the members of the BCMB who made this spooky episode possible, including our audio and video teams, writing committees, set designers, marketing and graphics teams, and everyone else helping us along the way. Special thanks to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren for setting aside some time for an interview. Uh, And if you're listening, please give me back my trombone. I need that. Um, The High Brass for their ride on the crazy beeline. The Front Ensemble and Eric Franklin for sharing some maybe a little too infectious dance music. And all the BCMB members who participated in our pumpkin carvings, horn film fest, and thriller dance. And of course, thank you to our viewers for being brave enough to watch our super scary episode of Showtime. Be sure to tune in on November 14th. We're going to be talking about all the things to do with the Heisman Trophy and have an exclusive interview with the man behind the miracle in Miami, of course, the starting quarterback of the BC football team from 1981 to 1984, Doug Flutie. We're also going to have various skits from the BCM members and so much more, so be sure you tune in then. As always, please remember to follow us at BC Marching Band for updates and content, and subscribe so you don't miss a single episode of Showtime. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time. And remember, Go Eagles. Happy Halloween.